Welcome to SME 360X, a revolutionary sustainability assessment platform for small and medium enterprises. In this video, we're going to see all the major features of SME 360X and the user journey from data input to creation of report. Let's start with the definition of our impact assessment. Our measurement framework evaluates impacts across six key performance indicators, i.e. GHG emissions, air pollution, water consumption, water and land pollution, waste generation, and land use change with a natural capital externality assessment. The applied evaluation framework is consistent across all six performance indicators and follows a three-step pathway. The first step is to identify what leads to a change, the driver. The second step looks at what has changed, the outcome. And lastly, how the change impacts human well-being, the impact. SME 360X combines digital technology, comprehensive global databases, and cutting-edge impact assessment analytics and algorithms developed with 40-plus years of research to make impact assessment easy, accurate, and affordable. We have made it super easy for you to do the assessment. Our platform takes you through the process step-by-step with explanations and help tips provided at each step. So let's start. If you are a first-time user, click Sign Up and go through our easy registration process. If you have already registered, then just put in your business email and password and you're ready to go. Now let's go to NCX and look at the data input fields. On the left, you will see the seven sections, general information for your industry, and the six key performance indicators. Greenhouse gas emissions, air pollution, water consumption, water and land pollution, waste generation, and land use change. We'll quickly define these. Greenhouse gas emissions includes release of greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxides, and multiple other categories released from direct and indirect operations of your company. You can provide the information under standardized Scope 1, Scope 2, and Scope 3 emission categories. Air pollution includes release of dust and pollutants such as oxides of nitrogen, sulfur, and heavy metals to the local surroundings. Water consumption takes into account the volume of water used by your organization and water saved from initiatives such as recycling. Water and land pollution includes the contamination of water bodies and soil, with chemicals and pollutants, which can potentially be harmful for the environment and toxic for humans. Waste generation includes all the various categories of waste generated and methods used for its final disposal. Land use change includes the change of natural landscapes due to a business's operations. Now let's take a look at the input fields of GHG emissions. Each data field is laid out simply, and you can fill up the information step by step. When you click on the little I symbol, an explanation page opens up. Throughout the platform, explanations are given for input fields. In the interest of time, we won't go through all the data fields. All of them follow the same easy step-by-step -step approach. Now let's click on the Generate Report button. In a few seconds, the report page opens up. On the top, you see all the six KPIs clearly displayed. If you look at the first KPI, GHG emissions, the number 32,000 USD represents the economic value of the environmental damage associated with GHG emissions from your business activity for the accounting period. Below the economic value, you see two numbers. The first number is the intensity of your GHG emissions. The second number is the typical GHG emission intensity or benchmark intensity for the sector of operation calculated from our global and regional database. Intensity is calculated by dividing your economic impact value to your revenue. If your intensity number isn't red, then you are worse than the benchmark. Green means you are better than the benchmark. We also provide intensity measures in traditional quantitative units. This means that we take absolute value of the emission, say 10,000 tons of carbon dioxide, and divide it by revenue. Moving down, you see a table with the six KPIs. There are three columns, 
i.e., total, avoided, and net impacts. Avoided impacts reflect the positive impact you have made by adopting sustainable measures. For example, recycling water, switching to renewables, recycling waste, etc. Subtracting the avoided impact from total impact gives you the net impact. The graph displayed on the right gives you a visual picture of the table. Moving down one more step, we see a pie chart that shows the contribution of each KPI's impact to the total impact. Now let's see one of the most remarkable features of SME 360, the PI score. PI stands for Profile of the Impact on Environment by the User. It's very simple. We take your final NCX score across the six KPIs and divide it by the average of the benchmark in your sector. Lesser this number, the better you are. So let's say if the benchmark is 1, which is the worst, and yours 0 0.1, then you're the best in class. In fact, this is our dream. One day, we want every organization to carry the PI score. Doesn't have to be reported outside, but you have this score. You know where you stand. You know every year whether you're improving or not improving compared to the benchmark. We also give suggestions and tips right at the end of the report. These are intelligently put based on benchmark data from the sector and give suggestions relevant to your sector. We strongly believe it's time for small and medium enterprise owners to also be enabled to participate in saving the planet and its people. SME 360X helps you in a fast, easy, and highly affordable way. Thank you for your time. For more details, please visit justimpact.com or write to us at sales at the rate justimpact.com.